this is our go fast camper uh, we call it moto truck we essentially we've tried uh, toy haulers we've had a RV and while that was fun we wanted something that uh, would enable us to get a little bit farther off-grid um, and here comes uh, the go fast camper uh, we did a lot of research um, one main, main thing that we wanted is we wanted the ability to mount up as much as we could on the on the roof uh, we also wanted to be able to fully access the rear of the truck um, and with the tailgate down. And park yep. anywhere. Yeah, and park anywhere. That's but best. yeah, so we have a, a full shower system right here. Um, it's a geyser system. Um, I have 10 gallons of fresh water with an RV uh, filtration system for the water. With three liters of water, can take a full shower, um, which um, for those of you who uh, camp off grid, water is at a is very minimum. So. My wife, my kids, um, we are able to stay off grid for a couple days and that's showering every night. I have some Molly panels here. Um, I was prior to military, so I love uh, being able to have the versatility with the Molly panels. Um, we have our hammocks, uh, propane tank, uh, e-tools, um, lighting systems. And then around back, um, this is a three drawer slide system. Um, so again, this is one of the main uh, main things that sold us on the go fast camper was being able to have this space to make it to where I have I can combine the inside and the outside and so with being able to fold down the tailgate I, um, I have three heavy-duty slides and they all come out right here I have another Molly panel right here um, it, if you see here I, I wanted to be able to uh, access water as well without being fully hooked up so when I have the three drawer slide system in its place underneath the fridge with the tailgate up, I could fill up my water if I want right here. So I have two separate taps. Being able to have a sink out here is just so nice. Like brushing our teeth with our kids. It's just really nice. Washing dishes out here rather than yeah. having to get everything kind of wet in there. The accessibility of this is yeah, so super clutch. Take this. Yeah, so this is all a quick disconnect fitting. Wow. So like right now the water pumps on. So then this comes off. So see the C channel right there? Yeah. And these are just Amazon brackets. And so then I just fold this up with that in there and then it just slides in next to the ladder. And then this slides all in there. So I designed um, the entire interior of it uh, on a AutoCAD program using uh, aluminum extrusion. Um, and uh, I wanted to be able to make a downstairs bed area if you see here, this is our, our uh, 45 quart fridge on a heavy duty slide. I call this the Transforma Floor 2.0. And so if I want another bed area, I have one inch C channel right here. And then we just have a little air uh, blow up mattress that uh, we could inflate and just put it on the top of this area. So this is about about 75 inches, so a little bit over six feet. So we have um, uh, we have three kids. So uh, I can the upstairs. I, again, I could sleep. Daddy, My wife. You have two kids. Right now, you are two kids. Yes, oh, baby, your older brother's not here. Yeah, right they're now. recording us. Okay, baby. <laughs> With the camera. Yes, there's two of them that are up there, but. Our seven-year-old, this is her new spot. She loves to sleep down here now. We can fit all four of us. We have a five, about to be five-year-old and seven-year-old. Um, and they sleep, they sleep with their heads this way, we sleep with our heads this way, and then we kind of just intermingle our feet. But our seven-year-old now loves this spot. Um, and it's so nice that we can move this tile and we can check on her. <laughs> this is mama's territory. My kitchen, my whole area. Um, I, I found these on Amazon. These are great. They have all of our, they open this way and they can also open from top depending on like how you need it. Um, and yeah, so this is an easy, really foldable table that's super compact. Um, I think you got, this was on Amazon too. This is um, a Walmart special um, flannel checker print picnic. Where? Dude. Here's our <laughs> breakfast and s'mores, kind of. Um, oh my gosh, speaking of which, we can't have 
campfires out here. So we just did it on our stovetop. Yeah, so, I, I, so at first I was like, what am I gonna use this with to actually roast it on a propane thing? And I'm like, that's kind of whack. So then I got a skillet and I'm like, holy moly, I can roast like six marshmallows at once. It was like the best form too. It was golden and squishy and I'm, I was just like passing s'mores out. It was great. Down here is kind of our just like beans and pasta and bread. We always keep, this is always ready. So we always have all of our seasonings in this and our can opener um, and sauces and stuff. And then I just put some sodas in there, extra bag. That's the big kicker. If you're a first time camper, make sure you bring bags because they're so like, this is my, this is my kitchen trash can, see? So I like make things and I just slip it right in there. I just cleaned it for you guys. And here is just all of our mugs and cups and plates. Um, and you pack all this on to the transfer to the 2.0? Yes. Yeah. Everything goes, yeah. yeah. And then here's the rest of our stuff too. Um, and if we have like big, I mean, we can wash all dishes there, but depending if we're completely off grid, like not hooked up to anything, then if we have, if we have access to water, then we'll do it. And we put all of our dishes on here. And, Go up to the sink and wash them. It's we have a great, great system. Yeah. We love gypsy yeah. lifestyle. Yeah, resourceful. Yeah. That's like my, I think my favorite thing about myself. I just set up the solar and wire it all. I don't know about you guys. I was like the. I, I don't know. So like, dude, yeah, that's yeah. Not, that's what <laughs> I'll cut some wood, bud. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll cut some wood or I'll do, I'll uh, wrench away. But I, it was a lot of research. I read a couple books on it um, and uh, quite a few YouTube channels. Um, to be able to make sure that I wanted it to be completely safe. Um, so again, it's all it's all it has breakers, it's fused, it's all to uh, I think it's like the yachting and boat standards or something, which is what a lot of the people that do van builds and stuff do. For our electricity, um, we, I have two Battleborn uh, 100 amp hour uh, lithium batteries, um, all Victron components, and a uh, 2,000 watt inverter. Um, for solar, I'm running uh, two 100 watt solar panels and uh, I'm able to have household outlets as well as uh, numerous um, 12 volt um, hookups. So. It has a little computer there so we know like, I mean, right now we were, we got back to 100% each day. Yeah, yeah. Fully so charged. From the, yeah. Even on the e-bikes, I, I think they're like a 700 watt hour battery. So having two lithium 100 amp hours, that's 2,600 watt hours. So, you know, if you have one of the specialized uh, turbo Levos or whatever, you're gonna get three or four charges. That's assuming there's no solar. So you could easily run, just be off grid charging those up. So yeah, there's a lot, a lot of power um, with those two batteries in there. It took me about six months to, from start to almost finish. I'm at about 90% done. I have a little bit more I have to do but just a little bit on each weekend um, to be able to get it to where I'm at right now. Obviously with the extra weight, I've, it's about, my guess is around 800 pounds total for everything. Um, so I use the Deaver Adelief uh, for the rear, uh, Old Man Emu uh, shocks. And I use the uh, Firestone Ride Right system with the Daystar Cradle, because I wanted to be able to uh, have, still have that articulation uh, when I uh, am off-roading. Um, and then for the front, I used uh, the Old Man Emu uh, medium duty springs. And for w the purpose that we use, which is just light four wheel drive trails, um, it's absolutely amazing. I wanted to be able to have the ability to, for it to be modular. So the, the entire system is on a base plate system. Um, and I used a, a, a Baltic Birch base plate. Um, I uh, used it bedliner, bedlined it, and it's only bolted in with five bolts into the actual bed of the truck. So it's pretty easy to get in and out. So I wanted to be able to keep it very modular. Um, with using the ex uh, aluminum extrusion, I wanted to be able to uh, keep any mold or any like dry rot from wood at a minimum. So there's, there's not a whole lot of wood. All of the paneling is a, an aluminum composite material. Um, and then the only wood that we have in there is either bed lined or I've used a, like a, a laminate to prevent any water intrusion. Yeah, so I used um, an Overland Vehicle Systems awning system, just your standard 270 awning. 
with two of the GFC brackets, um, and it's held up perfectly for this last year. Um, I uh, have had zero issues with it. I have a little LED light strip that I plug in with uh, the, the 12 volt adapter that's just right on the inside, and I, I love it. Yeah, so for the roof of the Go Fast Camper, um, again, I wanted to be able to put as much stuff as I can on there. And so I have two 100 watt solar panels, a Thule XT cargo basket, and then as of right now, um, two uh, locations to mount our bikes. Um, and I was, was able to do all this with just three of the Go Fast Camper B fracks, which they're absolutely phenomenal. You have all the uh, aluminum extrusion on the top and on the bottom. And if you see here for the solar panels, I actually made a bracket so that the panels sit below the B, the B frack. So I could technically use that top front B frack as well um, for storage reasons or for to be able to mount something. And then the Thule cargo basket is phenomenal. We could we are able to mount that with so much stuff. It's almost as high as the, the top bar of our bikes. Um, so everything you see here is completely self-contained um, and we are able to get everything inside the go fast camper and on the roof um, for our next adventure with my go fast camper being a v2 um, that means that the locations uh, where the struts are mounted to are on the inside um, so instead of going with a 150 pound strut and risk uh, the strut shearing off at the bolts i actually also put a 50 pound strut on either side and um, just use kind of just like an Amazon special, almost like a mock-up of a, a GFC V1 bracket system. So now I have 150 pounds on both sides and it, the weight is more evenly distributed. And so now when we get to the campsite, I don't have to take off the bikes. Um, this will still hold some cargo on top and we can just lift it up, go to sleep and then worry about offloading it in the morning. As I said, we love the accessibility that I can park anywhere. Like, there's a place up in Ragged Point that actually is like a Ragged Point resort, and they allow um, anybody with like a car camper to, to camp. So, like, so many times we've just gone up there for a night um, and just embraced in the beauty of it. And it's also been a halfway point up to Big Sur. Um, so, that's been awesome. We usually we like to take it out at least once a month. That's if we can go more, that's awesome but having children and lives in schools it's sometimes hard but ideally if we would homeschool our kids and just take this across the country we would <laughs> girls do you love your go fast camper yeah you want to hop down and let them know oh. yeah. come out of your hole say hi to ted and yuji <laughs> what do you guys like about the tree fort you have here i could sleep all night <laughs> What do you I love? like to sleep with my family. You like to sleep and with your family? What about when you're too big? Are you going to still want to be up there with us? Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One day it's just going to be a mom and dad trip, guys. You're going to get a tent soon. <laughs> Wait, my mom took me and my brother camping all throughout our life. So like, and I always tell her like, thank you so much for doing that because I think if I waited till I was an adult, I don't think I would appreciate it or be as good at it. <laughs> you know, like teaching your kids how to go pee or poop anywhere, it should be like a class in school. Well, on average, how long do you think your, your setup and teardown time is? It would probably only take us like 45 minutes. Really, like, and it's not, it has nothing to do with like how fast no. it is to get the GFC down. It's just everything else packing up. Yeah. Like. Oh, the other cool thing about the GFC is that we can go to our campsite at nighttime. Like putting up a regular tent at night sucks, but being able to just like is and then it like then you have freedom when you leave or have to go. You know, there's so much freedom in that. Last night's winds were like having to bunker down, but we were that thing was sturdy and warm and cozy. We were very thankful because in a normal tent it would have been like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this would have blown out like poop flying. But this is great. A lot of poop references. Should happen. Thank you.
yeah, we just, we love the GoFast camper setup. We love the versatility of it. Um, if I want to mount something, I don't have to drill into the side of the, the camper. Um, I love the fact that you don't have to pay for having the ability to lift this up like this. Or stand in the standard. bed of your truck. Yeah, I could stand in That's the bed of my truck. That's our favorite party trick. Yeah. It's like when people come, they're like, oh cool, you have a rooftop tent. like, we sure do. Watch this magic trick. And we stand up and they're like, what a second. Yeah. Like, so it's just these awesome. are custom. For the money you can't, for under 10 grand, you cannot be this setup. And then you can build it up however you want. If you want to go with the minimalistic lifestyle, um, you can, or if you have kids, Family to of four. To build it it's out okay. how you want it and what suits your family, it's the best way to go. And it looks rad too. It looks legit. So, I mean, I'll be honest with it. Yeah, we get lots of compliments.